very controversial feature just landed ChatGPT and it is very important for every ChatGPT user to know this. This feature is called memory reference. ChatGPT can load your memory, learn from it and give you responses based on that. I mean, you might like it. You might be that kind of a user who wants to have your personal assistant who knows every single thing about you. Like what time do you wake up, brush? What time do you sleep? Or probably you could be on the other club where you chatted with ChatGPT about your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend and they are ex now. You don't want to take a reference. Either way, this is a feature, maybe useful, maybe controversial, but I'm going to tell you how to use it and also how to disable it if you don't want to use it. This is a recent conversation I had with ChatGPT, which is about a fictional cat that I don't have. It's called Kitty Cat and she is brown in color. So ChatGPT immediately decided to update the memory and then you can see that I said the cat likes to code and then ChatGPT kind of like had some fun conversation with me. So now I open a new conversation and then I asked, remind me what we were talking last time. And last time we were talking about your brown cat named Kitty Cat. You hadn't mentioned much beyond that though, want to pick up where we left off or were you thinking of something else? That's because you can see that the memory saved us at this particular point, which is has a brown cat named Kitty Cat. So if you click this, you can see what are all the memory that ChatGPT has decided to save for me. I mean, obviously, before I started making this video, I had to delete all my memory so that you don't see whatever I chatted with ChatGPT. But it's very important for you to know this is a feature. Now, this can also refer before responding. Previously, ChatGPT used to store memories, but it was not so much that the chat was used to learn to respond back to you. But now it is going to use your preference, what you like, what you don't like. And based on that, ChatGPT is going to optimize its response back. I mean, Sam Altman was giving a big hype about it. And this is something that people are talking about it. A very popular AI communicator, Ethan Mollick said, I totally get why AI long term is useful. And based on my testing, many people will, I think many people will love it. But I actually don't want my LLMs I use for work to chime in with personal details or subtly change its answers as a result of my past interactions. Boundaries are good. Will chat GPT or GPT think worse of me based on a noob bash question I asked seven months ago? I think this is like a fun conversation, like people are sharing their expression. But I think in my opinion, it's a controversial feature. I don't want chat GPT to learn everything from my conversation. If you don't want chat GPT to learn everything or anything from your conversation, the thing that you have got to do is you've got to go to your chat GPT, click your profile name, click settings. Once you click settings, you can go to personalization and personalization. You can switch off this. If you switch off this chat GPT cannot store memory and chat GPT cannot refer any stored memory. So you can click manage memories and then see what you have got. You can see I've already got a cat named kitty cat. I can delete all this means my memory would be empty. It's like a blank slate, a scratch book, or I can just go hide this. Now when I do this, disable this chat GPT is not going to use whatever it is stored in memory. So let's say you want to have the feature on so you can go to personalization, keep the feature on. So you are somebody who likes for chat GPT to learn from the memory and then use it. Uh, for your future chat and all the kind of things like it's extremely helpful if you're using chat GPT for a professional use cases only and you can say reference saved memory but let us say at the same time um, there is one particular conversation maybe you want to buy something a gift for your girlfriend or a boyfriend and you don't want chat GPT to know that you've got a girlfriend or a boyfriend then all you have to do is start a new chat and go click temporary and this time it says this chat won't appear in history use or update ChatGPT's memory or be used to train our models. For safety purposes, we may keep a copy of this chat for up to 30 days. Now you can go chat with that. Do you know I have a girlfriend named Miss Brown from Brown University? Um, I want to I want to buy a nice salwar for her. Okay, so you can see that it browses the web, it's going to give me an answer back, but it is not going to store anything in its memory. So, oh, seriously? Wow, I didn't know that ChatGPT can refer images from internet. That's very interesting. 
So as you can see here, it didn't store it. Um, you can disable this. And if you disable this now, if I go ask the same question, do you something like this? Do you know I've got a girlfriend named Kitty Cat and she is brown and let me send this and let's see if it is going to update the memory. Yes, it did. And it says that I've got a girlfriend named Kitty Girl and she is brown. Oh, she um, she studies um, or maybe she's a professor at Brown University and I would love to to buy a red salwar for her okay so let's see if it's going to search internet and if it is also going to make some memory changes yeah so it says i've got a girlfriend kitty girl it's a brown a professor at brown university and all those things okay and uh, she has um oh we have uh, our anniversary um on april 12th okay so i've just sent this I hope it updates the, the memory as well. Okay, it did. Okay, I'm going to open a new chat and then say, um, I have a quiz. Um, do you know my GF name? Oh, yeah, it says, oh, when is our anniversary? Mm, what color she likes? Oh, um, do you think she likes a cat? Considering you have a brown cat named Kitty Cat, there is a good chance that she's a cat lover. Maybe I should say that she doesn't like cat. She's allergic to cat. Either way, this is a feature that you could use it for your own benefit. Like, for example, you are preparing for interviews so you know what you learned well, what you did not learn well. So if you are going to use it like a teacher, like ChatGPT is a teacher, then this is an excellent feature for you. But if you are going to use it for both professional and personal use, I am honestly not very uh, comfortable in ChatGPT learning everything about me and then using those things to respond back to me. And you might call me a fool because maybe they are already doing this. But right now, this is explicitly a feature and everybody's at least from OpenAI is raving about it, that this is going to be a new frontier in terms of how knowledge is being fed into large language models. But we'll wait and see. And if you want an open source alternative to implement something like this in your own application instead of using like a SQL database, but rather something at a higher, more abstraction with LLM specific case, then you can use Mem0, which is an open source library. It comes with a Apache 2.0 license, so you can implement own memory layer for your LLM users or application using Mem0. And this is very similar to what ChatGPT has done, I guess. But if it is something very different, it's going to be very interesting to see how memory will play a role in the case of LLM. Let me know if you feel this is controversial or it is something that you will love. But see you in another video. Happy prompting.